In this video, we will talk about grouping and sorting formatting options. To group activities, right click, group and sort, and by default, which is the most common way, is to group by WBS because it gives you a good idea about the structure of the scope of work. But you can also customize that. You can choose from the menu whatever you want. For example, I want to group all activities by start date. Click OK. So you will have the grouping now by start date. So for this date, this is a start date. So it will list all activities that will start on this date. You can also have total float. You can have basically everything related to the activity. So let's go back to the WBS. And it depends on your objective of the grouping. So you can enable or disable the indent button. Let's disable the indent button and click OK. So it will give you the WBS grouping, but without sub levels. So it will treat all WBS levels are the same. Right click again and make it indent. So for WBS, it might be better to have indent and click apply. You can you can also change the colors of the grouping. So I have here the first level and second level is in green. So you can double click how what is the color of the WBS. So what is the color inside this level and what is the background color? So what is the font color in this category and what is the background color? You can customize it and it will be reflected here as well. You can also show grand total and click OK. So it will give you a total for everything at top. You can also choose show summaries only. So it will hide all activities and it will keep only the WBS levels or any levels you are dealing with, which can be presented here as a summary bars. You can also choose hide if empty. So if I have WBS here, which doesn't have any activity, it will be removed. But right now we have activities under each WBS. So nothing is hidden here. You can also choose ID and code. So it will give you the code of the WBS itself. If you are dealing with the start, it will give you the code as well. Activity code also, when we explain it, you will find that there is an ID or code for these elements. Title also. So this is a title of my grouping, which is a WBS. You can also sort, choose sort from here. And I do not prefer to choose the sorting from here. I prefer maybe to make a quicker decision here. So you can simply click ascending or descending on each column and it will be reflected back into the sorting panel. So now I, uh, I enabled the sorting for start dates and it's showing me here. And if you just want to get everything back to normal by default, you click default here and everything will be by default. You can also have multiple levels of grouping. So I grouped here by WBS, but I can choose to have two parameters that the schedule is grouped by. So let's uh, say I want to group by start date. I want to also group by WBS and make it indent. So it will first group the first level is by start date. It will extract from Promovera all WBS under this start date. So this activity, so I grouped by 26th of August. So the Promovera will scan all activities that start on 26th of August. And they will also select the relevant and associated WBS for this activity. So you can also have the same WBS under different dates. So for example, I have here construction work, substructure, another activity also under substructure, but different date. So this is maybe a different way of presentation, but you can have different levels of grouping. You can also delete and add. 
So if I don't want the start anymore, you can click delete from here or maybe delete from the keyboard as well. It will work fine. Click apply. This is how you group the activities. In the next lecture, we will talk about filters.